Hello everybody, uh, I'm just going to do a quick update on the tank, it's been about five days since I've done my last video, a lot has changed, as you can see down in the foreground of the uh, substrate in the tank, that green little plant that is called Starogen Repens, or as most people call it, S Repens, um, it is a carpeting plant. Right now, I just have a few stems of it spread out over this way, and just a few stems spread out over this way. Um, another thing you're probably noticing is that nice piece of driftwood in the middle. Uh, I got that from my local pet store for $13.99, I believe. It was pre-soaked, pre-treated, so I didn't have to ruin a pan boiling it and doing all that I just took it right out of their tank took it to my house put it in another container and I did um, put some stress coat and some uh, some uh, I can't remember what the uh, treatments called but uh, I put some other things on it just so I could make sure that it was safe to put in my aquarium and it wouldn't harm the fish um down in the front left hand corner of the aquarium I'm not sure if you saw that there was some ghost shrimp I'll try to find some in the so you can see um, there seems to be a lot of fish in here that's because I just purchased eight new female guppies um, the day after Christmas so December 26th uh, there's one right in the middle right there. Um, all of the females that I purchased are light or dark bodied, but with red tails. I wanted to try to do an all red tank since all my males were mainly red, uh, except for one that has a little bit of yellow and blue into it. Another thing that I got, which is in the back corner, I'll try to zoom in on. Sorry about all the... Where'd he go? Uh, can't can't see him yet. He'll come out. It is a yo-yo loach or a lochata batia. Uh, it's the scientific name for it. Um, I did move some stuff around. I moved this plant, uh, this sword, I believe, or java fern over to the uh, right side. So it will uh, have more of a I want the wood to be more of a focal point for this area. Um, plant growth. I've had quite a lot of plant growth in the last five days. That Quite a lot of noticeable, noticeable plant growth in the last five days. Um, the anacris that I have, Elodia anacris in the back, I have. It's growing pretty well. Um, the Rotala indica that I have over here, that's grown pretty well too. Um, let's see, is there anything else I can, oh yeah, actually, the 25th of December, Christmas, I don't know if I can get it on camera, but I had guppies born, and there is a little teeny one, uh, there's some more over there, I believe it was from one of the Endler guppy hybrids that I had, the females, they, they were pretty young, old enough to get pregnant and have babies, but that's, they were probably shouldn't have had babies at the age that they were because I want to say maybe a month and a half just old enough to have babies um and the, the loach had come out somewhat he's right there in the back it'll get to about four five inches I believe um there's one of the ghost shrimp in the front if it'll focus, there you go, there's one of the ghost shrimp, I got 12 of those, um, I also picked up a albino bristlenose placostomus, and then just a regular bristlenose placostomus, I don't know where he's at, he's hiding in the plant right here, um, oh, let's see if this will focus, I have a Fluval 45G pressurized CO2 
um, diffuser kit coming in the mail. That should be here Friday. Uh, and hopefully when I get that, the plants will grow in tremendously. Uh, another thing that I have coming in uh, is some more LOD Anacurus. There was a listing on eBay for 50 stems two or two plants of LOD Anacurus. And also, it comes with one month live guarantee and 10 mystery plants. 10 stems of a mystery plant. So, oops, sorry about that. So hopefully, uh, once I get the CO2 and the carpeting plant to fully cover the tank, and I should be getting some moss from a lady from the Michiana Aquarium Society group on Facebook. And I'm going to put that all over this driftwood. And then when the CO2 kit comes and I start using that, uh, hopefully my tank will just flourish into a self-sustaining, low-maintenance, high-tech planted aquarium for guppies, uh, cord catfish, and loaches. Uh, that should be it for my video. If you liked anything you've seen, please comment and let me know. Uh, if there's anything that I can improve on, please comment and let me know. Uh, I'm not going to get better or show you the information and stuff that you guys would like to see without the feedback from you guys. None of this would be possible without you guys. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, hit that like button. That always helps me out. And you guys have a good Wednesday.